Let's place some components using Pads AMS. First, I'll open a project I created before. From here, I want to create a new schematic. The recommended way to place components using Pads AMS is two routes. First, we can use the Pads AMS toolbar to place some simple passives such as resistors, inductors, capacitors, a few types of voltage sources. So we have a DC source, we have a sinusoid, got a voltage pulse. And then we also have a ground symbol. For semiconductor devices, we have a diode. And by default, this diode is set to a standard diode. NPN transistor. PNP transistor. And then MOS. PMOS and op amp. If you want to change which semiconductor device these devices point to, so say if I don't want to point to a 1N4001, I could right click, go to edit all properties, and from here I can select which components I want from my SPICE library. There's another way to place components with Pads AMS. So let me delete these components. To the far right of the Pads AMS toolbar, you'll see Search and Place Symbol. Opening these up, I have two different approaches. So I could first go to the navigation tree where I could select from my all symbol libraries, electrical, and I could scroll down here and select a resistor. From here, I could either just drag off from the little symbol preview or you click pray, place. You could also open the model source code by clicking on open model and this will open it up in the pads AMS text editor. We can also look at models by category. So if I wanted to I could go to actuators and motors and select a DC motor from the Pads AMS library. Also, there's an option to search for components. So if I was looking for all resistors available with Pads AMS, I could type RES, and anything that has RES in the name will come up. And I see that under electrical resistor, there's a standard resistor. And also, if I go to SPICE primitives, there's a SPICE resistor. If I go to thermal, there's a thermal resistance. If I wanted to, I could also search for spice components in here. So if I click on include spice, I could search for my 1N4001 diode again. Click enter. And I can drag my component in my design. The Pads AMS toolbar is really the recommended approach for placing simulation models in your design. There's also another approach if you want to place simulation models in your design. I could go to the bottom to DX Databook, and if you don't happen to see DX Databook, you can open it by going to View, Pads Databook. By clicking it twice, it actually causes to toggle on and off. I go to the Symbols tab, and from here I can select Electrical Components, and I can select Resistor, and same as before, I could drag from the Symbol Preview, or I can also click on Place Symbol. The advantage of clicking on play symbol is it now is stuck to my cursor and I can keep clicking 
as many components as I want in my design. Delete this. You can also search for components in the library. So if I want to search for a capacitor, that could come up as well. If I want to look for a specific SPICE model, I could use DX Data Book in the search mode by selecting the SPICE diode and typing in my component name and clicking enter. From here, I could drag in my component to my design. Those are the ways to place components using PADS AMS.